Good Saturday morning, y'all. Uh, this is uh, Welcome to Saturday Thing 97. Eighty nine comments. <laughs> Just plain common sense, Rob, over in Bozier City. You know what to do. You know what to do, you know who to contact. So uh man. I'm going to attach a whole bunch of clips to the end of this, and I'm fixing to go drink some coffee. Have a good weekend. Listen for the machine gun. Oh, it won't happen. See those two woodpeckers up on top of that pole? It's uh, one woodpecker trying to woo. He's pitching woo. He's courting another woodpecker. And what he'll do is go down and beat on this RV car carport cover here and it sounds like a machine gun going off <laughs> that's him She flew away, so I guess she's not impressed. Well, that's a lot of work. <clears throat> I got half of it painted. And that is spray paint, and you have no idea what a workout that gives your spray can thumb. My God, it, my thumb is just screaming for no more. And uh, I've used six cans on what I've done so far. So I think I can get away with using four or five on this side. And then the last can I'm just going to spray on the back side just to, you know, just to, I don't know, just to make it look a little better. I bought a dozen cans at Lowe's for 99 cents a can. I couldn't uh, couldn't have bought a can of white paint for that much. All right, let me uh, let me get back to work here. Eleven cans of spray paint. Okay, I did not get to wire this today. Uh, my wife and I, uh, I wanted to go to town and get a couple of things, that, that spray paint for the gate. And my wife wanted, uh, since Lowe's was business as usual, um, she wanted to go look at their uh, five for five plants for $5. Anyway, she bought a bunch of plants and, and these uh, bamboo, uh, sunshades because right here in the morning the sun comes up and uh, it's blinding and it's hot although not right now it's still a little cool and uh, you know we like the sun on us but in the summertime you can't sit here because it's so hot so I'm gonna put one shade there and over here I mean our neighbors are nice those are nice folks but I don't want to sit here and stare at them and they don't want to sit here and stare at us you know I mean, there's no actual staring going on, but nobody wants to sit on their front porch and, and, uh, everybody wants, that's it. Everybody wants privacy. And so we're going to put a screen here just, 
to give us a little more privacy, and it'll get, even give them some more privacy. So, uh, I'm probably going to put these up tomorrow. Right now, I'm working on... I'm building me a little table right here. Uh, I'm going to come out six more inches. And uh, that's the next little project. And that's actually probably it for today. What I'm going to tell you... I got another flashlight. Yeah, it's a free flashlight. And I am going to do a review. The caveat, the catch, is I'm going to give this away. So I'm going to give this a good, honest review. And I've already taken it out of the box and looked at it. And it's uh, it's got everything you would want in a flashlight. I like Through Night. They make some good stuff. They're a little bit pricey. But uh, it is good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to do a review on this. I'll show you what it looks like at night. And uh, next Saturday, okay, when I do this review, if you leave a comment on this review, next Saturday, I will uh, draw from this video a name, and uh, I'll give you the flashlight. And uh, I don't care what country or, you know, just be a subscriber. I mean... I'm trying to just do things for my subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber and you enter, that means you're a douchebag. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I tell you what, if I go back to doing through night reviews, that will be the only reason I do through night reviews is to give these flashlights away. They make good stuff. Uh, I've got no problem with them. I'm not going to be an Olight pimp. And uh, I don't pimp through night. You know, it's been ages and ages since I've done a flashlight review. And the fact that I'm telling you they gave this for free and I'm going to give it away, I think that puts a flashlight review in a different light. And if it's crap, I'm going to tell you it's crap. So, okay, I'll show you this when I get to it. Otherwise, happy Saturday, y'all. All right, this is my Gerber Gator Bolo Machete that I bought. Okay, remember when I bought that land and cleared it? How yes, long has it been? Two or three years? You, I'm going to do it. You want to do it? Do you know okay. how to do that to no, paper? No, but I'm going to figure I it out. I think you got to unzip it, huh? I'm going to figure it out. Okay. Without cutting my arm Don't, off. Don't. Okay. What you do is you hold your hand like this. Okay. And then right near your fingers, you, yeah. you, slice, you slice downwards. Okay. I'm going to do it over here in case I cut a finger off. We'll get the blood over yeah, here. Yeah, you won't bleed on the... Oh, God. That is, that is scary because I know how sharp you make No, no. Stuff. You don't... You just slot, You don't whack it, hon. Okay. Just you put it up against the paper. Okay. And then you draw it. Okay. You hold the camera. You're not... <laughs> you're you not, know, I'm going to end up cutting a finger off, right? Take the camera. Take the hammer. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Okay. You ever seen a machete this sharp? You're getting too close to your fingers. Okay. This fine. is the best machete I have ever had. I cleared two acres with this machete. I chopped down trees with it. I cut vines. I cut brush. And uh Yes, you did. I even used it and cut yeah. a bunch of roots. Yep. Hey, we cut that root over there. We did. And the asphalt. Yeah. And the <laughs> asphalt. Which is why I had to sharpen it last night, because Right up here, I had smashed it into the, into the tar, mm -hmm. and I put a bunch of nicks up there. So I put it on my stone, and I sharpened it past the nicks. Gerber Gator Bolo. Best machete I've ever had. Uh, heavy. The only thing I don't like is this handle. you got to wear gloves with this handle, because once you start sweating, it gets really slick. And cut. 